Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog Wilsonhompson.com and today I have another thrifted haul for you guys today. This is actually part two of a two-part series with a huge thrift haul. This is my biggest ever thrift haul, so I split it into two videos. The first one will have gone out a while ago, but I will link that down in the description box below in case you missed it. But this is part two, so I'm very excited to be showing you the second part of this big haul because it's all stuff I'm so, so excited about. I've really, like, been so lucky lately with thrifting. I, I feel like I've hit the jackpot, jackpot with finding things that I love when before, more recently, I haven't ever been able to find things that I loved. So I'm so excited about thrifting lately. There's a bunch of different items in this in this thrift haul. In this thrift haul, I can't talk today apparently. There's some different decor items like pictures. There's canisters and baskets and different things. So I'm just very excited to show you all the things I got. And let's just get right into this haul. So the first thing I want to show you guys today is this canister. Now. This I got at an antique shop, not a thrift shop. So it was a little bit more expensive, but I mean, do you see this color? And do you guys know that mustard yellow is my favorite color in the whole wide world? And did you know that this is like perfect in my farmhouse kitchen? So even though it was like $19 for this canister, I couldn't leave it behind. So I bought it and I, have not had a single ounce of regret. I love this thing so much. And I'm just glad I bought it. I feel like I would have regretted it. I would have thought about it after I went home and been like, I wish I bought that canister because it was perfect. So this is just a mustard yellow canister. It's white inside. I feel like this will be perfect for flowers in the summer. It has these two little handles. But just sitting on the table with some wildflowers or flowers from the garden in the summer is just going to be so perfect. And going along with that, I have these that canister and this canister sitting together on the table. This is also really cute. It says milk on the front. It's a little milk jug. It also has two little handles and a narrow top. I just really enjoy this style of canister. They just look really cute. This also would look really good with flowers. It's a little bit smaller in size than the other one, which I feel like they just look really good together because they're just a little different in size. They're a lot different in color and appearance. But I just love how it has this cool color along the top here that just kind of spills down into the brown. You can see over here where it did like spill down. I just really love how that looks. The next thing I got were some stockings. We have never had stockings for Christmas before. Like in our since we've been married, we had stockings growing up, of course. But we haven't had our own stockings since we've been married. So I've been kind of sort of on the lookout. And especially now that we have kids, I've and they're getting old enough to like really enjoy Christmas. I really wanted to get stockings this year and just put like not something expensive in them. We ended up just putting, I baked some cookies and my mom made us some fudge and I made some peppermint brownies and I went to the store and got some some little um, oranges, some tangerines, I think. And I filled our stockings with all of those things and especially the two-year-old almost died of excitement. She just loved all of them. They were just so exciting. So. Even though it was really simple, it was so much fun. So I was so glad that I found some really cute stockings that kind of go along with my style. They're all like very minimalist, like kind of quilted stockings. I just really love them. So the ones that had blue in them were for the two boys, Luke and Demetrius. And so that's kind of how I could tell them apart, but there, there's not gonna be specific stockings. Like they don't have our names on them. So each year people can pick out which ones they wanna have that year. I don't think we're gonna have really dedicated stockings for each person, but I ended up getting six, even though right now we only need four because we have two kids, but they match and I like that they match. So I'll have two more for two more kids and then after two more kids, they won't match, which will be unfortunate, but I'll figure it out then. And then I have a little stack of pictures to show you guys. Some of these I'm not gonna keep actually because I have so many pictures at this point, but whenever I find a good deal for pictures it's just the one thing I cannot resist because I feel like the next house will be bigger and I can save them for the next house or I can sell them on my thrift thrifting Etsy shop which I will link down below for you guys because some of this will end up in my thrifted Etsy shop in case you guys are interested so here is the first little picture isn't this just so tiny and cute it's a picture of a little village the big tree and I love how fancy 
and detailed the frame is. This is just really cute. Here's the next picture. This is kind of a little, I think it's called Country Dance, but it's just kind of a festive picture. It reminds me of Thanksgiving, just the colors and the people like dancing. I actually have this one hung in our bathroom slash laundry room. I found a perfect spot for it and I, it's really cute here. Here is the next picture. It's a cute little cabin with quilt hanging on the line. It just looks so homey and cute and oh, it, it, I just love pictures like this that look like kind of farmhousey and like not loud colors like just like small pictures that you can just like put in like here or there like in little nooks and crannies. It just like makes me so happy to see them around my house. So that one and this one here are hanging in our living room which I feel like this should probably go in our kitchen because this is kind of like a trivet but it goes so perfect with that other one that it's just been hanging in our living room. It has this little thing to hang right here but it's just this little it's called the farmer's home winter. So it's just a little farmhouse and a barn and it's a, a barnyard and I feel like that one just kind of goes with the the cabin with the quilts and they just like look good together. They're kind of staggered in this corner in our living room and I just like it. And I don't think I'm gonna move that one to our kitchen because it just looks nice in the living room. Here's one I got for Sophia's bedroom. Now normally I'm not someone who likes pink things but this is very muted, like more of a pastel pink. There's some butterflies. So you can see that's not like a loud like hot pink which I wouldn't have thought if it was. But I really like how like vintage and antique the frame looks. Like it's just a very feminine piece. It doesn't look too much like a little girl thing. So even as Sophia gets older, it'll work for a long time. I would even hang this in my bedroom. So that one's hung above her bed and she always talks about it when she goes to bed. She points out the picture and then she talks about the butterflies in the picture. She just calls them flies because she can't say butter in front of fly yet. It's really cute. Here's the next thing I got. This is a cute little like speckled canister. It's like tan with like green specks. They look black. They're actually green when you look up close. This is just so cute. Normally I see these canisters in dark brown color which I also think is really cute, but I've never seen a speckled one and I could not resist it. So I got this for our bathroom. I make I make liquid soap out of horse chestnuts. So in the fall, I'll grind them up and dry them. So I actually have a horse chestnut stuff in here that I use for soap. So it's just right next to the bathroom sink. So when the little jar of soap runs out, I will just make another little batch of soap with these horse chestnuts. If you guys are interested in how to do that, I will link my video where there's just the instructions. Here's the next little batch of stuff. So this first thing on top is this little candle holder that's, that hangs on the wall. So cute, so like fancy, but not like overly fancy. I love the detail on here. It's just like kind of Victorian, kind of farmhousey. We have this hung in our bedroom because we try to avoid as much blue light right before bed as we can. So instead of having the ceiling light on, we'll just light some candles. So we have some candles next to our bed on the nightstand and we have some these hanging on the wall. I actually need to find stick candles or make some. I thought I had some stored somewhere, but now I can't find them. So I haven't been able to use it yet, but it looks pretty on the wall even without candles. The next thing I got is just a little decoration set. These little quail are so cute. I'm normally not a knickknack person, but I don't know what it is about these quail that oh, they're just so cute. They have these set on our piano and they're the only decoration on our piano. And I find that they're just like minimalist enough and just like muted colors enough that they don't look too knickknacky. I really like these. These next things are Christmas de decorations. These are the only Christmas decorations besides the stockings that will go away every year. So we have these and the stockings that, could, that get put away, <clears throat> that will get put away every year. But one of my favorite Christmas memories as a child was we had a bunch of these little kind of wintry like Christmas house decorations that me and my brother could each pick out one and it would go on our nightstand. And it was just kind of this Christmas tradition. We would pick out one of the little knickknack decorations for Christmas and we would put it on our nightstand. It just felt so special and like we were able to decorate our own rooms. And so I really wanted to find something for our kids to do that. They're obviously not old enough to do it yet, but 
I found these and they're like perfect and I don't normally see these kind of things around so I just bought them up and they're really cute so I'm excited that the kids will be able to do that as well because that's like really one of my favorite like traditions that we would do before Christmas. I also got a little brass duck. Totally frivolous and also kind of a knickknacky thing which again I don't normally like knickknacky things but apparently I like birds. I don't know what it is. But that is so cute. I don't even know why. Like it's just so cute. And I keep like debating on not keeping it because it feels a little bit more like a knickknack than the quail do. But I don't know. I don't really need it at all. I don't even have a spot for it that would be that great. I guess I could put it on the windowsill in here. That would be fine. But I don't know. I may end up listing that in my Etsy shop. We'll see. But I just thought it was so cute and I couldn't resist. It was only a few bucks too. I also got a basket with handles. I finally, finally found an egg basket. This is the perfect size for an egg basket. It actually looks exactly like the egg basket we had growing up. So I'll probably just lay a towel in here just to keep them more padded. But this is a great size. I didn't want it much smaller because then if there was a lot of eggs, I didn't want to like, where if you just like swung the basket too much, they might spill out. I wanted it to be plenty roomy, but not too massive. And I also wanted it to have hand a handle or handles. It is like so shockingly hard to find a basket with these specifics. But I finally found one. It was only like a dollar or two. I was so happy when I found this. So we finally have an egg basket. Oh, I also got a little brown doily. This is just really pretty. I normally don't just have doilies laying around, but I really wanted to get one for a photo, a photo prop. So I've been using this in a lot of the photos for my blog, and it's just a really great photo prop. I also got another little basket recently for Sophia. She loves carrying her toys around in baskets or bags or buckets or pots or pans or whatever you will give her that's a container. So I thought this was just a really cute, really just like tiny basket that won't take very much space in her toy bin. But I really like to find, oh there's still stuff around here, I really like to find more like natural minimalist looking kids toys. So if I could at all find like baskets that they'll enjoy playing with or like wood toys, I will like, I will for sure go to those before any plastic toys. So she has several baskets in her collection. She has a lot of, again, wooden toys, just a lot of like very muted, minimal, like neutral colors. So she's been enjoying this so much. I'm actually surprised I was able to get it from her long enough to film this video, honestly. Oh, and here's the last little stack of pictures. I know there's so many pictures, but I cannot resist them. That's like the seriously the one thing I cannot resist. So if you guys watched, I think it was two thrift hauls ago that I shared a little round uh, hanging picture that I got that looked really similar to this. I will link that video as well. But I, I only had one and then I found this one. It was an on an online thrift store, but it's, the flower's a little darker, but it goes so perfectly with my other one. So they're in my kitchen hanging like kind of ones on top, ones below, and they look so good together. It's just, I feel like they look better having a friend with them. It's really hard to find those. Like, I'll see them around, especially on online fruit shops, but they'll get snagged up so fast. I have a little set of oval pictures. These, as I said in my last thrift haul part one, I seriously cannot resist oval pictures because again, if these were in square or rectangular frames, I probably would not have liked them at all. But something about them being in oval frames, it's just, they're just, so so cute this one actually had the glass broken so it's just the picture here but you honestly can't really tell well, at least i don't think i can't really tell they just look i mean if you got it real close you could but it's really hard to tell i just don't know like how it'll do long term like if it'll wear out faster or the color will change faster but right now i'm gonna hang them probably in the stairway with my other oval frames it'd be nice if i could like alternate because i have a set of two that i showed in the last haul it'd be nice if i could kind of like stagger them up the stairs together i don't know if that would look good or how i would do that but that's kind of what i was thinking here is a little farmhouse picture that i got for the kids room because this just looks like the perfect piece for a kids room it looks like it was made for a little boy's room or something. This would just be so perfect above Jimmy's crib or something. I really couldn't resist it and I love how even though the picture doesn't look super antique, the frame just kind of brings it all together because the frame looks old. The frame looks kind of antique and the back is like kind of that paper that looks like really old. 
but I just really love this and it's got the little white and it's got the little white chickens down in the corner this is just so cute I loved it okay last frame I promise I promise this is the last one this is an empty frame but I loved how it was like really like kind of ornately carved wood frame and then painted gold it looks so pretty like just fancy but not too fancy you know I don't even know how to explain it like it just looks feminine and antique and I really like how it looks I just have yet to find something to put in it I would love it if I could find a mirror that was this size but I don't even know how I'll go about finding it because I don't ever see just mirrors without frames especially not this specific size at thrift stores so I don't know what I'll put in it so we'll see if this ever gets filled but I love how the frame looks it actually has this for sitting on the counter and for hanging on the wall. I definitely would not sit it on the counter. I just don't like how that looks very much. It'll definitely get hung on the wall if I ever find something to put in it. This is the last stack of stuff, I promise. There's only three things in this stack, so we're almost, we're almost done. I'm really glad I split this into two videos because there's a lot of stuff. So here's this little enamelware pot. It's just light blue with specks on it. It's just really pretty. It's got a handle. You know, a couple of days before I went thrifting and I found this, Luke was saying, I wish we had just a little tiny pot to heat up like just a, a tiny amount of something and you don't have to get a whole pot dirty. And then I found this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. We need this. So, and it was only $1.50. So this is really cute. And I like having like small things like this that aren't too heavy, that aren't like dangerous to chew on or anything to, to let the babies play with. Jimmy's gonna absolutely love banging this on the kitchen floor while I'm cooking dinner. I can just picture it now. And then if you guys know me as well, you will know that I have a thing for hanging plates on the wall. It just looks so like vintage and farmhousey to have a, like a, a plate wall in your kitchen. So next to our refrigerator, there's a little strip of wall where I have a plate and my colander and another plate and my cast iron pans. And it looks so pretty, I love it. But I found this, the Farmer's Home Winter. That's actually the same picture as on that trivet that I have in my living room, but you don't, you can't tell. Like they don't look the same. You would never think that it was a duplicate because the plate and the trivet just look so different. So you wouldn't even, I didn't even realize that it was a duplicate until like a couple days ago and I was getting stuff ready for this video. I was like, these are the same print, that is crazy. But it's just a really cute little plate and I, have a little plate hanger on the back. I really like how this looks in the kitchen. And then here is, this is more of a bowl. It's more deep, but I'm using it on my plate wall because it's really pretty. I love blue plates in the, on the wall. I don't know what it is about blue plates. I wish I could find more of them, but they're whenever I find them, you have to buy it in a big, huge set and they're really, really expensive. So I don't normally buy them, but this was like, it's really shallow bowl. I don't feel like it's that you know, deep to be using on the wall. I like how it looks. I had a red oval plate where this was, and I never really loved the oval plate on the wall. So I was really happy to find a round one to put in its place. But again, it's just farmhousey. It has a cute little picture with the farmhouse and people ice skating on it. It's just so cute. So that is all the things in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you go check out part one if you didn't see it already. It was so fun to do this haul and it, it's one of my favorite things to do is go thrifting. I don't normally get all that much, but lately I've just been finding the most awesome stuff and I'm so excited about it. So make sure you go subscribe to my channel if you like seeing content like, content like this. Go check out my thrifted Etsy shop if you're interested in buying any of this stuff because I may list some of them. And also head over to my website and get on my email list so you can see all the other new stuff we're doing because only a little amount of content that I do is on YouTube. A lot of it, most of it's most of it's over my blog and podcast. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.